Tank Bigsby now in the lineup on third down and short. And he's going to get the first down with forward progress, but he didn't get much. Because you got to keep them running sideline to sideline. Right at midfield, second down and nine. Bigsby trying to weave his way through, and he rolls for about four. It'll still be third down. Make you stop it. Now they go to the ground game, and finally Tank gets ahead of steam and gets it inside the 20. <laughs> well said. Back to the live action. Neil Farrell make the stop on Bigsby. Bigsby hasn't gotten going yet for Auburn. Coming off three straight 100 plus yard games. Got to start feeding him. Here he comes. And there he goes for a first down across the 30 to the 31. It's kind of like my partner over here. I think he was about eighth on the I, Purdue I list. That. Here oh, comes outside. Bigsby. Got the edge. Tank finally got one going. Brought down by Hampton, but a big gainer. Watch the jet sweep. The linebackers stay inside, and all of a sudden, the running back gets the edge. He says, I love tight ends in my offense, and if he comes along, I can really add some plays. Now it's Tank Bigsby to the six, and, and it's this, first and goal. And this is why I want to call him Tilt. Tank Bigsby in the backfield with Bo Nix, and that's Schwartz in motion. It's Bigsby straight ahead. Didn't get there, did he? Uh, no signal. Now they signal touchdown. So another turnover turns into a score for the Auburn Tigers. Bixby got it this time. And he followed good blocking up front. From you can get in from that area. Good job up front by that Auburn offensive line. And Bixby goes north-south, exactly the way you want your running back to do it. I don't see any knees going down. I think this one's going to stay. Two freshman quarterbacks on LSU sideline, hoping to get another chance. But right now, it's ball control for Auburn. And here comes Bixby. Second down and five. And the Auburn Tigers eating clock. Three and a half minutes so far. Ninth play of the drive. Bixby, first down run. Whew, he's tough. He really is. Georgia wanted him as well. He's doing pretty well here at the Plains as a freshman. Trying to bounce it outside and does. Got the edge, the stiff arm, and he's down to the seven-yard line. Let's see if there's a fight for the handoff here again. <laughs> Not this time. Nice and smooth on the handoff to Bigsby for the touchdown. People moving in both directions. Cross action from the tight end and inside a little bit of everything. First time they've gone really up tempo. They had a positive first down play. They're in plus territory. This is when you know that it's going to come at you here for this Auburn football team. Pegues is back in there, was in motion. They give it to Bigsby again on first down, and they've got it down to the 33 yard line. Alabama's going to get the ball in the second half. They need a drive here, Pat. Bigsby got away from the first man. And his most productive run after breaking a tackle. Can they find some help for Bo Nix? Like maybe Tank Bixby. Trying to get to the edge. And he got five or six out of it. You know what? He's going to get extra shots every time he gets placed. It shouldn't be John Samuel. It should be John Nonshanker. A little trickeration here. It'll be Bixby to the outside. And he's forced out of bounds short of a first down. Mike Bobo. Offensive coordinator for the great Aaron Murray at Georgia. Another running play. We'll see plenty throughout the day on both sides of the field as Sean Shivers tried to go up the gut. Didn't mention Nix's streak, but he has broken the Auburn record consecutive passes without an interception. He's above 251 now in a row. He'll go back to the air here. Nix feeling a little bit of pressure, fading away, and connects with Bixby. Makes a man miss. Bixby still on his feet and drives forward for a first down. We're seeing Dan Jackson come in right now, the one who blocked the punt last week. Nick's out of the shotgun. Swing it. Big speed. Collision and just moves on forward for seven. Get him in space against these linebackers. Get it right back to him. Puts the head down and will fall forward for right about a first. Auburn did trail by nine heading into the fourth quarter last week at LSU. Outscored the Tigers. 14 nothing as Bigsby is spun forward. Third and one, Bigsby plows forward. Bigsby to the outside. Bigsby, a ridiculous effort for the Auburn touchdown. 
That's playing big by Bigsby. Tank Bigsby. Big plays by their quarterback. Bo Nix gets inside the five-yard line. Tank finishes it off. That was Brandon Council called for the penalty, so it's second down and six. They go to the ground with Tank Bigsby, and it's a first down. Second down and six into Razorback territory already on this first drive. Swing it to the running back, Bigsby, who finds some space and explodes forward to the 40-yard line. It's hard to be a ref. Extremely. Bigsby on the pitch. Burst of speed forward and a gain of five on first down. Another Georgia formation for you here, Aaron. And the give is to Bigsby following his tight end, Shanker, just trying to shed tacklers left and right. Second down and five. Give to Bigsby, who bounces it to the outside. Bigsby looking for the pylon, and he's pushed out of bounds at the one. It's the ball on his left arm here at the conclusion to try to get it over the sticks. Although, eye formation. Aaron Murray in his glory. Hand it off, Tank. Bulldozes forward, and he's in. Touchdown, Auburn. Bo's looking good. We're going to see if Tank is able to cross the goal line. And it appears from there he does. This is one of the keys to the game. Get Tank Bigsby going. Had a tremendous game last year versus Arkansas. 140 yards rushing. Well, our gene fits just right today in Fayetteville. And it's first down and 10 for Auburn. Bigsby with some space, and he's tripped up. That saves a huge gainer. A monster drive for Arkansas to make it one possession before halftime. Bigsby looking for space, nothing doing, and that'll likely take us to the half. TV so I can watch that <laughs> game. That's going to be a fun one. High formation, toss it to Bigsby, who's got a lot of room. Good blocking, and Bigsby stays on his feet, finally out of bounds after a first down. And L left tight 49 boss get the big boys out front get a fullback in there He's focusing on both players He needs help from another official to see where that play is in relation to the contact How does that help come does does someone come to does someone have to offer tip your hat to Brian Harson and his staff and in this entire team and certainly to Bo Nix three total touchdowns today Bixby will get the carry and churn forward Straight up the middle is Bigsby. And Tank's got it into Aggieland at the 47. Two tight end set here for Auburn on second down and nine. Nick's off play action. Flares it out to Bigsby with a stiff arm. Still going. Going to be short of the first down. Whoa. Bigsby, big opening off the left side. <laughs> Johnson had a step back there. Now it's a toss sweep to Bigsby. Tank Bigsby off the right side. Backpedals his way for maybe a first down. I think he got it. I was going to have one of the FBI teams investigate the offenses of these two teams. Yeah, that's a good idea. Tank Bigsby with a stiff arm. Still moving the pile and a first down it appears. Back to Bigsby. Bounces. Into the hole, out of the hole, and through the tackles oh, you of O'Neal. Got gotta, nine. Got to love that run, don't you? And good news for Auburn. Alec Jackson is back in at left guard, the starter. Nix throws it out to Bigsby in the flat. He got one block. He got a second block, and he got almost ten. Maybe he did get ten. Well, you caught a break. Can you make it work for Auburn? And an opening for Bigsby. Tank Bigsby's got a first down as they're trying to rip it out of his hands. Third and a yard. They need one, and they got one, I think, from Bigsby. That's all he got. They need some big plays. They're 14 down with 9.40 to go. Tank Bigsby broke one tackle, dives forward for about seven. On fourth and a yard, and they get it with Bigsby. So that'll quiet the crowd for a moment. T.J. Finley hands it off to Bigsby again. Tank with a little bit of steam this time. Got it out to the 10, where it'll be third down at short. Third down at two. He'll get it again, and he's not going to get it. 
swarmed oh, under Tell oh, Tell oh, Anderson and company and Tim Smith in the middle. Bigsby into the middle of the pile for about three. Tim Smith stands him up and still has a hold of him. Tank Bigsby, little stop step and picks up five. Toe Toe made the tackle. And now Auburn starts in plus territory again. Tank Bigsby will go for almost five. I mean, Auburn has started at the Alabama 39, got a touchdown. The 45 had to punt, got a field goal after starting at the 22. And here they are again on Alabama's end of the field as a flag flies in a couple of them for the, before Bigsby is finally released. Toto is right there. This time straight up the middle for Tank Bigsby and he gets to the 20. A third down and 20 to open the fourth. And Tank Bigsby picks up eight or nine and they're going to have to punt now. And countless hurries by a great Auburn defense today. Tank Bigsby on the toss sweep. Tank Bigsby down the sideline. Delivers a blow to battle at the end of that run that's got it all the way out to the 47. In the regular offense, and Mike Bobo goes back to what he knows, the toss sweep. That's his M.O. from Georgia. Took it to Colorado State, and he looked at the play sheet, and he goes, we're having trouble everywhere. Our quarterback can barely stand up. Let's go toss. They can hang on here. Bigsby trying to bounce it outside, and he does. Tank Bigsby, close to a first down, about a yard shy and out of bounds. Great field position, though, to start after taking over on downs at the 47. Here's Tank Bigsby, and Tank Bigsby spins his way near the 40. Until the third series of the game, but he's in quicker than that, and it's Tank Bigsby with a first down. Joey Porter made the tackle, but Tank gets it to about the 36. As we take you to a first and 10 at the 43-yard line, Tank Bigsby finds a hole, might have another first down. Yeah, that's true. Right from the start of the game, and they've kind of stopped. It's in his hands now. Bigsby makes a move. Tank Bigsby, open field. Tank Bigsby still going near midfield. The whole idea. Yep. What? A, what a one-yard pass play. That pass wasn't even thrown past the line of scrimmage. And again, the Penn State defense. Ironically, a transfer from Oregon, and Bo Nix is playing at Oregon. Now they keep it on the ground to Mr. Dependable, Pack Bigsby, first down. And again, it opens up pretty nicely. Pickup of about four for number four. <laughs> Anyway, it's still third down and seven. Here's a pitch to Tank Bigsby on a little counter in the backfield. And he's stretching out, but he's going to be short of the first down. Do they go for it here? I fourth? think they do. I think they do. Bigsby actually got about an extra four yards. And this us against everybody else on the road. Ashford hands the ball off and some positive yards up across the 10 yard line. Bigsby runs to his left. The pass game maybe opens up a little this run game here. It does, and again, positive yardage. You've got to keep this thing manageable on third down. Four-man defensive front for Georgia. They get it to Bigsby, and Bigsby has the first down as he's thrown out of bounds. That was Ryan Davis who made the tackle. And keep the ball in that little mini field. They're back in tight end. First red zone play of the day. They give it off to Bigsby, and Bigsby powers his way inside the 15 to the 14. Powerful runner also. On second down, they hand it off to Bigsby, and Bigsby's got the first. And Bigsby lowers his shoulder before he's knocked out of bounds. Second down at 15. Toss to Bigsby. The lead blockers in front, and Tank gets part of that penalty back. Got it out to the 45-yard line. First down, Auburn. Tank Bigsby looking for some blockers and got him. And Tank. Goes over the midfield stripe to the 49 of Alabama. And on their second possession, Auburn in Alabama territory. Tank Bigsby avoids one tackler and somehow got to the corner to get the first down. Toss to Bigsby. Not going to get to the edge. Run out of bounds at the 25. It'll be fourth down. Two tight ends in for Auburn. Toss to Bigsby. 
And Tank Bigsby is going to be close to a first down. On the move with Tank Bigsby behind him. And it's Bigsby for about four or five. It's a very dangerous part of the game here for Auburn. First down. High snap. Tank Bigsby gets the handoff. Just sort of stumbles for about five yards. And they will keep doing what they do. Tank Bigsby going to be short of the first down by about a yard. That would be a feather in the cap of the Boilers if they are in the Big Ten Championship game. That's pretty good. Here comes Tank Bigsby. With less than four to go and then 15 more. And on the direct snap, Tank Bigsby on the Wildcat goes for a first down. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.